Summoners and Summonettes, it's Gordon here, and today I'm bringing you a Morgana mid lane video. So as always, let's go ahead and get right on into it. Uh, not too sure what I want to buy at the moment, so we'll just go ahead and start off with the high. I'm Gordon, because I have fun coming out. Not sure if I want to go for Doran's Ring, or if I want to go for Dark Seal here. Mm, I do not know. I do not know. Because... Alright, if we look at who we're up against, we are up against either it's going to be an AP Ezreal mid, I think. It could be AD, I'm not too sure, or it's a Zillion. So either way, it's going to be a pretty easy lane for us to shove in, in my opinion. I'm just going to spam W and be pretty passive. So maybe I'll be able to just kind of chill and pick up some assists or kills every now and then and come out of laning phase with a whole bunch of... Nope, I lied, I lied. I'm actually just going to take back everything I just said, and we're going to go for the Daring and Double Health Plot, because I'm going to go for the Rod of Ages slash uh, Frost Queen's Claim pickup, so I don't even want to bother with a Magi Soul Stealer, so don't even listen to what I just said. Alright. I'm just reading some chat real quick. Alright. So, let's see if uh, we're up against Ezreal or Zillion here. Gonna start with our W regardless though, and just get that lane pushing. Okay, it is Zillion, so we'll go ahead and swap this up. So let's go ahead and plop the W down, and he stands in it and actually takes a hit of Thunderlord's Decree, because it's pretty much a guaranteed Thunderlord's Decree proc if you can place your pool down in a decent position. Because it takes every point five seconds, I believe, and you only need to hit him three times, so that's pretty easy. Not the abyss last hitting out of me there, but Zillion only got one minute out of a whole six, so I will take it. Let's go ahead and just attempt to always kind of pressure this guy. Another Thunder Lord's Decree proc for pretty much free there. And now we are level two. He is level two as well, though, so he has this double bomb. Gotta be mindful of that. Definitely don't want to stand next to any minions when playing against Zillion, because he can easily proc the double bomb on minions and kind of take advantage of you standing next to it and it's really easy for you to accidentally get clipped by it. My last thing is not the best at the moment though. But uh, another Thunder Lord's proc going down right there. And with the D-Ring it'll give me some decent mana regen. But uh, it is actually AD Ezreal top. So I was going to be mindful of whether or not it was AD or AP. But since it's AD I'm not going to go for a Athenes. I was thinking about potentially bringing out the Athenes but Definitely not worth it being a uh, AD. Bot lane picking up first blood with a level two gank. It looks like by their Lee Sin, kind of unlucky. All right, yeah, you can see he's got four CS. So we're just gonna keep pressuring this guy under his turret, and there's not much he can do about it. Let's go ahead and just always aim to take out the back line first, and then we could attempt to last at the front line, but we're potatoes, so that's not actually gonna happen too well. Nice, bringing one back in the bot lane. Good stuff. So Lisa's gonna. Oh, I just accidentally missed level, and that's exactly what I was saying right there. You don't want to stand next to minions because you can uh, get clipped by that. I'm too used to playing where we got a support and Max and W or sorry Q. Very very awkward. I did not mean to do that, but it's not gonna be at the end of the lane. But kind of unfortunate because normally you want to get those early points in your W, so you can just plop one down and you clear the entire backline, and it's pretty trolly. The push power is just crazy. Alright, so 8 to 24 already, huge CS lead. Let's go ahead and roam up top because we got mid pushed already. So we might be able to make a meaningful roam here. Hopefully they can live in time for me to get there. No, oh, baby! No, oh, go in! Oh no! I was roaming. I was looking for the potential. Not gonna find it though. All good. Dang, you can block Ezreal Q with Shen W, that's pretty busted. Right, let's go ahead and queue the Siege Minion just to secure it. I don't want to miss a Siege Minion, man. That's a lot of gold. Alright, Zillion throwing down the Double Bomb. I'm not going to fall for that. And we will just kindly uh, back the hoe up. And we'll hit him with a little bit of Thunderlord's Decree. He returns it with some autos back at me, though. But it's all good. We have Natural Spell Vamp with our passive. Pretty busted for sustained power here. I, I wonder, actually. I just leveled up my Tormented Soil, my W here, my pool after I put it down, and I wonder if that being a uh, level 1 on the ground, or if it updates the pool to do more damage. I'm kind of interested. I don't know how that works, actually. I don't think it actually 
buffs the pool that's already in existence. Yeah, I don't think it does. That's still pretty... It's kind of cool to think about. <clears throat> I actually did not know how that mechanic works, but I think I just confirmed it by watching the damage done to minions there. Alright, we'll queue to get that, and then we'll just, uh... I'm gonna look for rooms. I'm just gonna constantly pressure this guy and try to... Oh, he's dead. Unlucky. Alright, let's see if we can make a meaningful roam here, baby! No, he's dead. Everybody and their sisters just dying, man. Alright, she has no Q. Let's see if we can get... Oh, I'm fucking minion control this. That's awkward. <laughs> I was gonna try and snipe her, but the minion wave shows up. So that ain't happening. Zillion is six, but uh, we'll go ahead and hit six off this minion wave once we get there, because it is L Siege minion. Uh, rip that one minion, though. Alright, gonna Q that. Whoa! We're potato. And don't do enough damage. Should have waited another turret shot. Lost out on a siege minion for no reason, because I'm impatient. Alright, we'll go ahead and put our W down on the back line with one auto attack at rank 2, and it will take out the back line. Except for that one, he trolled me. Oh, he didn't go back. I thought he was going to go back. That's interesting to me. So he has enough mana for either a bomb or an ult, and I'm going to try and make him use a bomb here so he doesn't have mana for his ultimate. So ideally we want to try and get him shoved in here. There we go. And okay, he has mana for his ult again, but he doesn't mana for anything else. So I really want to try and bait him into running Oom, and then we can go for an all-in play on him. He is running teleport, so he will be able to just teleport back to the lane eventually. Oh shit. Ah oh, shit. Ah oh, shit. Alright, I'm not gonna bother all ending him there just because he still has mana for his ult. I don't really want to commit to something if I can't actually get it, but uh, easy sidestep on Lee Sin's Q there, so he can't really do jack diddly do to me. Might be able to catch this guy off guard. No, nah, he's just gonna go back and teleport back, yeah. That's the smart thing of him to do. Alright, let's go ahead and get this shoved still. Actually claiming that Siege Minion's life, unlike the uh, past one. So we'll go ahead and take our gold, and we will go back with it. I have a couple options I could do. I'm definitely going for Route of Ages, but actually, let me see what he comes back with. Okay, he is as well. I just want to make sure he's not going to get a uh, gold advantage over me by basing and picking up something like a Frost Fang. Because if he did that, I'd probably match him. But uh, either way, I'm going to get the combo of Frost Queen's Claim as well as Roa. It just depended on the order that I wanted to go. But uh, since he's now confirmed going Route of Ages as well, I will go along that route. I don't really have sustain issues or mana issues as Morgana, so I'm going to get the fat AP of the Blasting Wand and the Ruby Crystal instead of the Catalyst the Protector combination. We'll go ahead and sidestep all that harass. We'll just start plopping down Ws and the wave, the backline will die in one form of soil now, so. Pushing power, it's pretty boring. Oh, whoa, that many control. But yeah, both of us have crazy wave clear. We just put down either double Q in his case or W and the whole wave's gone so gonna be a little bit of a farm off but we did have an early advantage on him which is nice a little bit of harass coming down we'll just go ahead and spell shield his kick so he can't do any fancy footwork and get behind us and kill us so not gonna allow that ah uh, didn't clip him with that still gotta be mindful our bot lane is just getting domed on what the hell but yeah, without spell shield, you gotta be a little bit respectful to Lee Sin, even though I still think he's a pleb. Alright, we'll get both of those, but not the one that died to turret. What is going on? Who's 5 Oh, woo woo, holy shit. Okay. So, Zillion, he's just chilling around the corner, but we will uh, just continue to push him in. I just want to keep him in the mid lane so I can potentially roam. He's just waiting. Oh, right. Cancel the auto attack. Where'd he go? He was literally just around the corner. I don't care if Lee Sin shows up again. If my spell shield's up, I'll just simply plop it on myself and he can't commit to uh, killing me. Jax is taking the Drake here. He should be able to get it and uh, get out. Yep, there he goes. Was he doing... I'm not sure if Zillion is doing the rates. I don't think he did, because he came back full health. And he can double bomb and kill the little ones, but the big wraith should still have a lot of... Uh, hit points left on it, so I don't think he did rates right there. Dude, this bot lane is... Okay, he traded. I like <laughs> I was gonna say, he's just dying 24-7. Oh, 
I'm trying to get to you. He's gonna die. Yeah, that's unlucky. Alright, let's see if Ezreal will greed. I don't think he will. Oh my god. He didn't back. I'm just gonna simply walk up to him and press R. There's nothing I need to do here. No fancy footwork with the E's. Just walk up and press R. I'm not... Or, sorry, with the Q. Not gonna attempt to... Snipe him with the Q and have him get away by accident. I'm just... Walking up and pressing R for that kill. Alright. Let's go ahead and just take it back down to mid lane. We'll gather up the minions that are accumulating here and blue buff is up i don't know if i'll get it i don't really care if i get it or not but it would be nice but if uh jax wants to take it all on him wow i just missed two cs i shouldn't miss oh well. we're still doing pretty good we uh we have decent cs and we have a huge lead over the zillion which is really nice because sometimes it can be hard to get a lead on zillion just because he is such a safe champion all right but yeah, that roam kill will definitely come in big for us here. Let's go ahead and gather up this. Uh, bada bing, bada boom. Don't have our ult, so definitely don't want to get ganked by that boy right there, because Lee Sin is still hovering. We'll go ahead and throw down a little BM, because we're BM like that. We do have our row when we go back after this wave, so want to push this and probably head on home. We're going to hover down on the bot side of the lane. Simply because the Lee Sin is now on the top side of the map, because we obviously just saw him walk through the lane. Alright, we will uh, plop down our W again and get that, and we'll just base now. Okay, so free base here, Zillion isn't really pushing us in, so we shouldn't miss too much. And we'll go ahead and pick up the row and get that stack of lack in here. Beautiful stuff. Bot lane still continuing to feed up the storm. This is going to be a hard game. But we are definitely going to be able to scale pretty well into the game, so maybe we can have an impact. I'm not too sure. Uh, he should be out. I'm assuming Lee already kicked. That's a good shun ult to uh, kind of dissuade him. Not going to hit the, uh, ooh, some fancy footwork out of everybody involved. But I think Lee Sin's still going to die here, so not too worried about that. We'll just roam over just to make sure Zillion is not going to partake. Okay, there he is. So not afraid of that. Good. So Lee Sin with just a little bit of over aggression. Uh, snipe him with the Q. Nope, not gonna happen. I think he had that ordered, so he was able to get out of harm's way. We can definitely all in this guy and force his alt, but I don't know if I really care to do so. All right. Luckily, we did not get stunned there. That was in a little of trouble. We're gonna make them. Okay. Oh shit! She actually does hella damage. Oh. I was gonna try and uh, stun them both there and then potentially turn and kill Lulu with our next Q, but I didn't realize she was going full AP support. It doesn't even have a uh, side stone. I mean, I guess I would too if I was 6 and 0 as a support. Holy moly, she just murdered her. But what happened, Bonley? Ah, that's so bad that she can get away with going full AP and not get punished for that. Hmm. I guess I should have realized she had legitimately just straight up 100% AP. If she was a little less fed, I probably could have turned that. My idea there was to hit them. Both of them have alts to, you know, obviously save a life. I wanted them to commit to saving one person and then kill the other person who didn't get the zillion alt. But I ended up dying a little bit too quick for that to happen, so that was kind of unlucky. Zillion does have his Roa now, but we do have a... We snuck in a Spellfuse Edge there. So we do have a little gold stackage coming out of that. Alright, again, just throwing down the W on the back line. I don't even care if I hit Zillion. We're just trying to evaporate waves here. And we will zone him off these minions, actually. We'll let our minions die to his minions, and then we'll kill the minions. Nice. Oh, well, that one barely lived, but... I mean, if you do stuff like that every single wave, two to three minions adds up, man. You can get a crazy, crazy sis sleep by... Denying minions every wave, if applicable. I think he's getting... I want to say he's getting race right now. Because he is uh, just Mia, so... We're going to try and push us in really hard and make... Shit! Why can I never just kill a siege minion, man? I want to make him pay for uh, leaving the lane like that, so... We just actually denied him an entire siege wave, so that's pretty good. 
We do have Jack scaling as well with Devour, so we have a lot of late game scaling. Yeah, he was just doing raids. That took him forever to do raids. That's not worth it, in my opinion. He missed a siege minion to do the raids, so not too sure. Jax is uh, getting the Rift Herald there, so we will have a little bit of pressure when it comes to that here. I'm just going to hover on the top side to make sure he gets it, and he does get it. Okay. Are you, are you playing with me, boy? Boy! Do you know who I am? Yeah, you better heal. Oh, you're still gonna get the D. That was a good bard ult. So we're just gonna chance you see this guy later. Very well played by bard. Just uh, following up on my initial Q landing there. And can we kill this boy? He should just die. Yeah. Damn, a little slow to rotate, but all good. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna pressure mid, I guess. Three off the map, and we are Morgana, so we can just eliminate waves without a problem here, so. If we can get any turrets against this team, I will take it, because they have insane wave clear. Alright. Let's go ahead and prep this with a Q and actually take out the Siege Minion's life with a Q this time. Hey, we did it. Alright, let's get a little bit of turret damage down now. Oh, I forgot they had double teleport. Alright, we'll plop down a pool. Hopefully that'll give us some gold. No, it won't, because our thing is on cooldown. I lied. I'm a dirty liar. Just trying to get a little bit of uh, Frost Queen's gold before we go back. Because it is hard to use those in lane until you complete the entire item. Because obviously you get the cooldown. Alright, let's get rid of the back line. Actually, let's pull all the minions in here if we can. Come on, man! Come on, man! Can't be on your own as a gen. He's a very immobile AD carry. Oh my god, that Lulu. She's going to Lich Pain. She doesn't even have fucking boots, man. What is that build? I canceled my back there. I wanted to force him to try and shove it up a little bit, which he did do. But, uh, I got what we wanted. I made him shove. Oh, nice. We got Dragon. And he killed Lisa. Holy moly. Good shit, AJ. Alright. I'm uh, not sure if this boy... Ooh, snipe. Let's go ahead and force this all here. Because we have the rest of the team nearby, so if we just take him out here... Actually, let's just wait. We're chilling. We're chilling. And he's dead. <laughs> I love Zillion. It's so easy to bait. So, it didn't kill him there. Made him waste his all. And he flashed. And then we got the kill on the flip side of that. AJ, uh, I mean, he wanted to flash to secure the kill, but I would say he should just have a little bit more faith in me. But all good. All good. So, Zillion has no stuns right now. That was a free kill. Got the dragon. We're back in this game, baby. He's already sated, that's insane. Ooh, if that stun connected. Alright, we're just throwing random. Ooh, that hit? Okay, let's pressure this guy. He should die here. One more auto. Actually, he's just gonna die to ignite. Yeah, nice. Uh, suddenly really fed? <laughs> I'll take it. Alright, let's go ahead and base grab the entire Frost Queen's claim now, and we'll go for Lucidity Boots. Where are you? And we'll just snag a uh, Amplifying Tome. We can turn, them, turn that into a lot of things, whatever we want. We'll go ahead and uh, see, maybe a Void Staff. I want to make sure we can get that penetration going. Morgana has pretty nice uh, AP ratios already, or you know, high damage values. So you want to get a lot of penetration on Morgana. That'll be pretty meaningful in these fights. And I'm pretty sure they're going to start building some AP, or sorry, some MR, because Arjax is going kind of the hybrid damage as well. And I'm pretty much... I mean, Shen and Jin aren't really going to do a terrible amount of damage because they're just, they're underwhelming, so. Oh my god, that damage. That has to be respected. That's one QW combo, and he's already almost dead, so. We can all end him pretty easily here. Alright, don't get creep blocked here, hopefully. Uh, I'm just going to, oh, I didn't even want to, oh, I guess we'll just kill you. He's going to kick me away. Let's go ahead and not path next to him so he can do that. And we're just going to auto him to death. Easy peasy. So, you notice my positioning there, his alt was up and my black shield just wore off, so if I didn't position myself the way I did, he would have simply punted me away, the chain would have broke, and he would have walked away. But since I stood just barely out of his alt range, it did not allow him to punt us and secure the killer. I wasn't planning on going for the kill there, but he kind of just threw himself at me, and I'm, I'm gonna take the free kill if you're giving it, but I wasn't expecting a free kill, we'll just put it that way. Zillion. Could be going for uh, Luden's Echo here with that NL Rod pickup. Not entirely sure. We'll find out, but blue buff is up. I would love to steal it. 
Alright, let's see if we can, uh... Oh, shit. You're just dead, my friend. A little over-aggression out of the bard there. I didn't have much fob. I didn't have my ult or anything like that, so... A little bit of an awkward play there. So, just gonna try and wave clear here so they can't shove. We'll give this an auto and then cue the other one. And there we go. Rip wave. I mean, they just can't do anything. We're making plays on the map while they're chilling in the mid lane against the Morgana, so... They're wasting a lot of time here. I can I can come for that. I'm down. Let me go ahead and just plop down a W on this wave, and then we will uh, rotate to the Baron here. I am down for this. So, I don't think they know. This should be hella free. Very nice. I like this call. An early City Devourer Jax, he is just a monster at the moment. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right, I'm going to send out the Ghosties. Lisa didn't... They didn't even realize. <laughs> They had a ward on it, at least it just didn't look at the map. He was chilling mid. I sent out the ghost to try and slow him, but he apparently just did not give a shit that we were doing Baron. That's pretty hilarious. My god, we are fed. Aww. Monk with the TM out, ruining my way. Alright, what do we want to turn this into? I might just go death cap. Screw it. Let's get some, uh, fatty AP going here. I'm not really a... Oh, shit, that is the wrong item. Misclick. I'm not really afraid of anyone on their team. I don't think I need to pick up a Zonia's. Their Ezreal's pretty underwhelming. Maybe Jin, but if I hit him with the Kiwi, he's just gonna get one shot, so. Screw it, let's just build more damage here. Since they aren't building any MR yet, they're being really greedy with their builds. They're just all full damage. I'm just gonna build flat AP then. But if they do pick up some uh, MR, I will more than likely snag the Void Staff next. Alright, I should start taking side camps here. There is the, uh, you know, wolves are available and whatnot, so we'll go ahead and do the AFK. Oh, shit. Alright, well, I'm gonna force a zillion ult right now, or else you just die. There it is, and we have Jax to back us up, as well as the uh, bard here, so we'll go ahead and... Mm, he, got a... he flashed for my ult, so that's not too bad. I definitely could have pursued that a little bit better to secure a kill, but... Whatever, Zillion Alt and Least in Flash for my all. it's not too bad. It's a decently short cooldown, so... Nothing too big lost in that trade. I'd say it's worth. As long as we don't fight immediately, it'll definitely be worth. Alright, just easy wave clear here. Pop down a W and goodbye entire wave. And we can go ahead and move on to clearing the wolves and such. We have really, really good camp clear as Morgana. Damn, we have most of us in the game. We're killing it. Alright, let's go ahead and try and position our Q so it hits the big one, there we go. And we'll get rid of that blue ward, and we will go ahead and do our own blue here. Got top turret, beautiful stuff. Alright, let's go ahead and snag that, beautiful. Another pool should secure the entire uh, buff here. We gotta go mid lane though, just cause this lane's pressuring and I don't feel like losing a mid turret today. Lots of action, two for two up in that top lane, not too shabby, and we take a third Drake here for pretty much free. Good stuff. We'll auto this once, and turret hits it, and then auto again. Okay, three for two in favor of the enemy, so definitely worth for them. We did get a turret though, and dragon, so overall it comes out pretty worth for us in the long haul, but immediately uh, they did just win that fight, but I mean, Jax and I are just, we're monsters at the moment. We are getting huge off of some CS. Is he gonna dive that guy? Do I hit him with the Q? He dies. Okay. He should just die here. I'll tank it up. And there goes a turret. Smart move. And he didn't have ult actually from us uh, pressuring that off of Lee Sin earlier. So that's another turret and a kill for us. We. Oh my. When did all this money come in? 3k? 3k BRB. Uh, hello. Delicious, delicious gold. I see Ezreal off to the side, we're just gonna send out our ghosties and we're fine. We can lock it off, they don't have any pressure on us. Oh shit, nice. If that hit him, he would've died, but uh, good, good bard play. He's gonna die for it though. <laughs> Is he? Nah, he'll live, he'll live. He's got the shen ult on him as well. I really need to go base though, I have 3.2. I got the death cap pickup if I so desire, which I do indeed desire. So hopefully we're not throwing. Alright, let's start building towards the Void Staff, so we can get that penetration going. Just don't- just stop fighting. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop! Just run! Yeah, I was gonna say, you're gonna die to that last ult, man. 
needed to actually juke those. Alright, Ezreal goes down. Jax is just split pushing up a storm. Get to me! Is that gonna hit? No, it's not. I'd back off after that, yeah. He should live. Ooh, good QSS. Removes the Lulu E on him, so she cannot commit to the kill. Jax is just AFK split pushing top lane like a champ, and we have a huge wave mid as well, so should be able to... We're just out-rotating the team, and we're pressuring the map so much harder than they are, and he straight up just solo kills the Lee Sin like a boost. I'm gonna walk up to this guy and try and kill him, and do force his alt out. So there's that. Not gonna have our Q up in time to finish him off, but uh, you know, whatever. Whatever. That's not gonna hit, but we're drawing two people mid, and it's allowing Jax to just sit top lane and split push. And you know, even our bot lane to get some farm back into the game. So we have just way, way, way too much pressure on the map for them to handle. You can aim me, I don't even care. He's not even gonna bother. I love how this guy has not tried to bomb me like once this game. He just doesn't even bother. Alright, we'll get that minion with the Q. Hey. Not sure if the blue's up. Gonna take a peek though. If it is, I'd love it. Are you alive? Oh, baby. We got ourselves a blue buff. Alright, let's go ahead and pull it down just to make sure they don't have any chance at stealing it with maybe a zillion bomb and whatnot. Uh, we don't have enough for Void Staff, so I don't really feel the need to go back at the moment. Sidestepping that Jin Trap. I'm really- I'm just not afraid of anything at the moment. Even though we don't have Zonias, I have Flash Up, we got our Spooky Ghosts. Everyone is really underwhelming on their team, honestly. Like, if Jin- Jin is such a short-ranged AD carry that if he comes near me, I'll just bop him, so... Really, really not afraid of him at the moment. Uh, looks like a little bit gangbang going down bot lane. Uh, that was actually- a good Bard ult. Oh, Lee Sin didn't kick. He could have kicked him out of that. That was a good Bard ult to force the Lee Sin to turn around. But let's go ahead and get in the middle of this squad here. Hopefully Ezreal dies. Why wow, I missed. Did he actually get out? I was really banking on him dying there. But uh, we'll hit a three-man ult here. Probably gonna die, actually. Rip. I got... If I didn't get uh, snared by Jin there, I could have killed everybody, but I kind of played that really bad. I definitely should have been able to kill everybody, but I just hella misplayed that. But meanwhile, Jax is doing Jax things, and he's taking inhibitor turret. The split push is real out of this boy. Hey, that almost got us uh, void staff money. We can go ahead and wait for it. Yeah, I definitely should have. I just played that pretty bad. I shouldn't have gone for the initial Q on Lee Sin. I should have just walked up and been okay with getting two in my alt, but I was greedy and tried to get. All of them? What the hell? This AJ literally just doesn't give a shit. He's killing everybody on their team. Yeah, if I was a little bit more patient or a little bit more decisive initially, I could have easily gotten some kills and got out, but I kind of did the middle ground where I wasn't decisive and I didn't wait long enough, so I kind of paid for it. But uh, holy crap, this Jax is popping off, man. Alright. Yeah, I mean, I think we have the game won. We have just way too much pressure, and we do scale pretty well. And the people who do scale well, scaled well. Like, it's not like our bard is huge and we're all behind. Like, I just farmed like a monster this game. AJ was a beast from the get-go, and the late game, Jax with a Morgana shield on him is going to be terrifying. Is he straight up soloing? What the fuck? I guess a little help from bard, but that is... That is a champion. Yes, Jax indeed is a champion, I can't confirm. A very silly one at that, but he is a champion. Oh, hello, Lee Sin. Hello, Lee Sin. I'm just gonna go ahead and block your stupid alt and you're dead. <laughs> hello, Lee Sin. I love you. Well, that's how he tries to kick me away while I have spell shield on him, and then I uh, try to flash ward hop. Mm -mm, boy, I got you on the lockdown. All right. It's okay. I got you, AJ. <laughs> Alright, so we were going into this game with uh, the hopes of Adam actually being able to use it for a recording, but yeah, I was recording for funsies just in case, because you never know. And uh, we are showing who is really popping off. Uh, are we going to hit anybody with the cube? No, it does not look like it. But we're going to be able to take this anyways. They don't have any pressure. Two dead. And we have our frontliners doing frontline thing. Oh, that's dirty. That's dirty. That's hilarious. I actually ends up still getting the Zillion all on him. Thought it would expire, but uh, 
Nice bard all while the gin is immobile. That's pretty funny. Can we kill Zillion? Yes, we do indeed. And, oh, just get my ults off cooldown, baby. Just get my ult off cooldown. Sides or snake eyes, that's the word. Are they dead? Yeah! It didn't take them all out, but uh, still got what was needed. And is he gonna. Ezreal, you just shifted into the wrong Morgana. You're dead. Get comboed. What is going on in this game? It's a slaughter. I will shield you just so you can feel safe, my friend. Yo, get this Lulu. She killed me earlier. We're pissed. Get this Lulu. Hey, that's what I like to see. Now, let's go ahead and take a peek at the damage, because you never know. Uh, Jax did do a lot of split pushing, but I feel like I might have had him in the damage still. Let's take a look. 10, 2, and 2, not bad. We were rich. Oh, yeah, baby. That is a carry right there. Good stuff, so... I mean, it did look pretty bleak early on, but you gotta know your win conditions in League of Legends, and we still had our win condition alive, even though our bot lane did get pretty far behind early on, so... I just did what we had to do, and ended up getting the W there. Easy peasy. If you liked the video, go and throw a like. I'll have all my other social media, such as Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook, as well as Moons and Masteries in the, in in the info box below. And as always, guys, I will see you all next time.